Yes, I have, apart from, uh, well, flown and landed. Uh, not all of them, but uh, flown to all of them, yes. So you have to read it out loud. On a scale of 1 to 10, how happy are you? Um, I'm happy. It's been a good year, starting well. No complaints. I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm happy. 1 to 10, what? 7 maybe? Yeah. Zanzibar was good. Zanzibar and Diani were lovely. As for Amboseli and uh, Amboseli, well, very, very beautiful shots. Um, especially one that uh, uh, Susan was sitting on uh, uh, a cruiser. Really? I'm not so sure whether that's legal, but yeah. <laughs> One of the things, but yeah, it was fun. What's the best advice I've received? Take one day at a time, but prepare for tomorrow. If you don't have, uh, for everything you do today, you have to do two times for what you need in the future. So you'll always work a step ahead for whatever comes in tomorrow. That was the best advice. My friend called Ezekiel. There are two things. Well, I admire the fact that uh, I've had uh, good complaints from the competitors. <laughs> They're complaining that uh, we are up to speed with many things. Yeah, and uh, it's been good, and it's good to see the competition is coming up. So that means obviously we have to stay uh, work a notch higher, and uh, because it's a uh, it's one uh, big lake, and all of us have to go fishing. Yeah. Wow, this guys. What do you do when you feel like giving up? I run. <laughs> I run. <laughs> uh, kilometers on end. I'm waiting for a marathon on 4th of March in Kilimanjaro. So yes, I run. Yeah. Um, working with Copitol was good. At least, uh, to begin with, we all didn't know what we expected, uh, to be honest. We did not have a proper script of uh, what Safari and Kazakh client actually wanted. Uh, reason being, we were going into an open, an open field. It was the first time we were trying it out. Yes, we had a lot of traction to some of the sites, like as far, based on an analytics report from now, what, what my analysis is, um, now on the web, web uh, side of it, yes, there was traffic. Question is, how do we direct this traffic and now pipe it down to an actual customer sale? Um, it's good, it was, uh, it was interesting, but we still, uh, I still feel like there's something more we can do on how we can convert all the numbers that we brought in to an actual sale and be able to quantify that uh, the customers vis-a-vis uh, -vis the spend. Yeah. Wow. In one sentence, what is your biggest concern right now? I don't like uh, failing. So there's something I'm working on and I really hope that it works. That's the only thing I'm scared of. Yeah, but uh, now positive approach. It's a very big uh, jump. But yeah, very positive approach. Uh, some time back, I used to lecture as a, as a freelance lecturer for Marcus Evans, uh, international firm. And within the same space, I was still doing digital. So yes, I have learned to see so many things within, uh, with the various industries that I've worked with. But now, uh, the funny part is when we came here, uh, the customer base was not, what would happen is you cannot do market into a destination like Amboseli, then pick a customer put them in Amboseli and forget about them. They have to have a location they go to. And uh, keeping in mind Safari Link only takes the hope of flying you from destination A to destination B. That was a bit challenging because you could not sell the whole leg. So what would happen is most of the customers would come in, but the travel agents have already done their part to customize everything else that's done once they finish our hope uh, with Safari Link uh, flight. So yeah, it's, 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 it's been interesting. I, I think I played my guys right, but I know there's room for improvement. Uh, we didn't do the best of the best, but I, I yeah, I've, I've seen so many things happening so far, so now I, I know we have a different uh, angle line of thinking. Now I need to know that I'm playing my cards right. <laughs> 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 oh, what is a piece of advice you often give, but find yourself struggling to follow? Some time back, I had a lot of discipline in uh, sport. So um, I had a rule that you'd run every three times a day. I would encourage people to do it all the time. Now, over the years, uh, life has happened. It's a friend of mine told me, when you uh, got married, that's, that's what changed everything. When you get married, uh, your normal standard operating procedure, the SOP, changes. Running stops be, uh, stops becoming a mandatory thing and it now becomes effort. So I've been struggling to find that effort. Yet I'm the one who calls everyone else when they don't do it. 
Yeah.